Welcome back to Blue Penland. Let's do four and five from the formative assessment 3.3. Oh my gosh, from the top of a cliff? This guy's crazy. He can't make you do that. That's terrible. Okay, here we go. Here's this cliff, right? 56 degrees. So we go. We go. Shoot it like that, right? It looks like 45 degrees, right? Thing's going to go. Strike the ground right there, right? Okay, so this is 65.3 meters. Okay, so what do we do? I think we still have to break this guy up into components, right? So let's figure that out, right? The initial velocity in the x direction. Okay, so we figure out u, right? In the x direction, I'll say ux, right? That's going to be uh, 31.7 cos 56. And the initial velocity in the y direction will be 31.7 sine of 56. So let's do that. 31.7. How sad is it if you mess this up? Cos 56. 1.7 sine 56. Okay, so here we go. I'm getting, uh, this is 17.726. And this is 26.280. Okay, so it's got more y than x. That's expected because that's not an adorable angle. Um, and then these, of course, go in here, right? 17.726 and then uh, let's see our final velocity oh it's going to be the same thing right because there's no acceleration here right so the whole time it's in the air it's horizontal velocity is 17.726 right uh, this guy is negative 9.81 our initial velocity is this guy right 26.280. And then it's like, we need more step, right? We can't solve this side. We can't solve this side. It must be this, right? The 65.3 meters lower in elevation, right? We're going down, right? Never mind that it goes up and then down. It's the change in position, right? That's what S is. So the change in position vertically is just simply that we go down 65.3 meters. Okay. Now this is solvable, right? Now I remember solving for t directly is quadratic, so I won't do that. I'm feeling far too lazy for that, okay? So um, let's do this. I think well, let's solve for v and then be intelligent about it, right? So I compartmentalize that. Okay, so v squared is u squared plus 2as, right? So the absolute value of v, and we'll decide later whether it's positive or negative, is the square root of, uh, let's see, 26.280 uh, squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 65.3. And of course, this is how this formula is going to work its magic, right? Uh, when you put this in here, this is negative, that's negative. So this ends up being a positive thing added to this guy squared. You're going to get a bigger magnitude velocity. Okay, that's why, because of that, right? Because the displacement's down. Now, if we shot up onto a cliff, this would be positive, that'd be positive. You'd end up with a, and what, I guess, a slower velocity, right? Okay, so let's see. Square root of 26.28. Squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 65.3, right paren. Okay, did I type all that in? I think I did. I think I typed it in correctly. Okay, typed it in, comma, correctly. Okay, so the absolute value of V is 44.4. Point four zero five meters per second, right? Now, it's going down, right? It's definitely hitting the 
the ground going down. So the final vertical velocity is definitely not positive. So we choose we choose the negative. 44.405 per second. And that minus sign makes all the difference in the world. You'll see here in a moment. Okay. Um, okay, so now we want to figure out the time it takes to hit the ground. Time will go across. We can find this. I like these. They're like giant puzzles. Okay, so I'm going to use V equals U plus AT. I'm still doing vertical stuff here. So, so negative 44.405 equals positive 26.28 plus negative 9.81 times t, right? Boy, that's a lot of stuff to do. Okay, so uh, da, 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 are we ready for this? Okay, divide by 9.81. I'm getting 7.2054. Okay. Okay, and then whoop, that goes across. 7.2054 seconds. And now we can figure out our displacement. Displacement S equals UT. I'm running out of space. Here, let's do it up here. S equals UT. This is a horizontal calculation, by the way. Okay, so I'm going to do 17.726. Times seven point point two zero five four. So let's go uh, seventeen point seven two six times. Oops, I'm adding. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to slip here. Seven point two zero five four, and I get one hundred twenty seven point seven. So I guess that's one hundred twenty eight meters okay, and that's one of our answers right is how far does it go what time is it in the air 7.21 seconds this would round to 7.21 right okay so then the final thing is what's its speed of impact if you're so unlucky as to get that speed remember is not the velocity of impact it's just simply the magnitude of velocity so it's it's actually just the hypotenuse of this guy. So let's draw this. It's like over and down a lot more. So when it hits the ground, it's whoa, like that. Okay. And I just need to find the magnitude of this thing, right? That's what the speed is. The speed is the magnitude. It's the hypotenuse of this guy. Okay. Are we ready for this? It is the square root of. of 17.726 squared plus 44.405. That's all it is. It's so hard to do that. 17.726 squared plus 44.405 squared. Okay, here we go. I'm getting 47.8. Yes. Isn't that cool? That's cool. I think that's cool. Let me show you something interesting. I'm going to show you something interesting. I already got all these things. I don't know why you would continue to watch. Okay. But this is a funny thing, and this will come up later. You want to find that speed and do it quick and dirty? Watch this. Seven squared plus two times negative nine point eight one times negative 
Tell you what, when I do that, I get 47.8. Right, and so the, you know, the question is, how does that work? And the reason it works, why does it work? Why does it work? It has to do with energy. Okay, so when you throw it from the cliff, it's got uh, it's got potential energy plus kinetic energy. And then when it strikes the ground, it's only got kinetic energy. You haven't learned this yet, but uh, the mass doesn't matter, obviously. Right, multiply everything by two. Oops, plus. Right, so this is the final velocity squared. So obviously if you square root two GH, right? This is the velocity, right? So when you throw things off a cliff, this is how it works out. Which is interesting, isn't it? All that vector stuff we did, we arrived at that. In the future, there's going to be something that we can do with energy that makes us, this anyway, easily solvable. Not that, not that, not the, you know, angle at some part way through. Anyway, well, you, I don't know why you're still watching this video. This has got to be the most boring video. Okay, here we go.